Hi, in this particular video we're going to be asked to look at box plots, creating box plots for waiting times in seconds in a garden centre. Okay, so if you're not sure about this particular question, please do click on the link below, have a look at it on the website and that will give you a bit more information. But basically, we're talking about the wait times in seconds. So in other words, the person that waited 5 seconds and the person that waited 44 seconds are the two ranges so the lowest range is four sec uh, five seconds which is about there and 44 seconds which is about there okay the next bit is we need the median value that's actually going to be the person in the middle so you've got the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth now that's actually the person in the middle. If you look at it both sides, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that side, and you've also got seven on the other side, so three, seven on the other side. So this person is the median person, it's the middle person. Okay, so that's number 25, so that person waited for 25 seconds. Okay, and then we've got the lower quartile person, well that's halfway between these, so you've got one, two, three, Four, uh, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be number fourteen there. So the lower quartile will be fourteen, and then the upper quartile is going to be the person in the middle, which is actually that person there at thirty seconds. Okay, so that gives us our box plot. We're just going to join it all together, make it look a little bit more presentable, and what we get is this box plot looking like that. I think this particular um, row, uh, centre is called Roses. I think this is Roses Garden Centre and this is Green's Garden Centre. And then the final part of the question is we're asked to make a comparison between the two box plots. Well the easiest way of doing this is just simply to compare the medians. So the median for Green's is actually um, shorter than it is for roses. I think for roses it's 25, for greens it's something like 21 or 22. Um, and then the other thing that you need to compare is the uh, the spread, the interquartile range as it's called, it's the middle bit. Okay, so the spread for roses is a little bit less than the spread for greens. And you can just take the information from the graphs themselves if you want to, but if you use those two marks, you're perfectly fine as far as, or those two comments, you're perfectly fine as far as these types of questions are concerned. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do follow the link below, have a look at the website, that will give you a lot more information. Um, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.